watch word for October 11, 2023. Lord, you have been a refuge for the needy in his distress, a shelter from the storm and a shade from the heat. For the breath of the ruthless is like a storm. Isaiah chapter 25, verse 4. Doctrinal text. While we live, we are always being given up to death for Jesus' sake, so that the life of Jesus may be made visible in our mortal flesh. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 11. We've all heard the story and read it for ourselves in Mark chapter 4, verse 38, where Jesus, after spending the day preaching, is exhausted. Those disciples, let us go across to the other side. They got into the boat to go across to the other side of the lake. He used to be untired, on the pillow and fell asleep. During that time, the weather changed and water stopped coming into the boat and the disciples are fearful of it being sink. One version of the chapter refers to them rousing God, which means he was sleeping really deeply during the storm and they had to arouse him to wake him. And he spoke to the weather and said, be calm. And it was calm. He then chastised his disciples and said, O ye of little faith. What we need to remember as we read this event in the Bible, that God is always with us. He was there with them. Even if he's sleeping, he's still there with us. And we know that God in heaven never sleep. His son in human form slept and he was tired, but he was there with them and they should know no harm should come to him. And so the sound in part, we must all remember to have faith in Jesus. If he says you're going to do X, he's going to do X. If you're going to go across the lake, you will be going across the lake. They thought they would not have made because of the water coming into the boat as the weather had turned to its worst during that storm. He says to have faith in him and just believe. That is all you need to believe. Storms are there for a time. They're there to teach us a story, a lesson, but we can get to the other side through faith in him. Call upon his name in your storm and he'll be there for you. Have faith to believe that it will be done. In Jesus' name, amen. Heavenly Father, I just want to praise and glorify you being a great and good God. We thank you for the storms of light that we don't understand. Know they're there for a purpose, dear God. We believe and know, dear God, you will get us through these storms, dear God. And out of them, we should be better. We heard of Job, dear God, and what he went through. And he, and he said he'd be better than gold. He looked for you, he did not find you, but you were there with him all the time and he never knew it. But we don't see your footprints there, you're there carrying us there, dear God. And your word is our blueprint to get through the storm. We thank you, Lord, dear God, to bring us through each and every storm by our faith and our trust in you. In Jesus' name, amen.